this is your spoiler alert. Cuphead and Mugman are inmates until they bust out after facing a giant cyclops. Chalice is in trouble with an angry mob, the trio wins a dance contest, then Chalice turns into a ghost. The pair go to sea to find a sea captain's lost love, which is this giant mermaid who turns the captain to stone. Oh, and Mugman has a huge crush on her. Cuphead straps himself and Mugman to a rocket, they get into a fight and realize they're perfect as brothers, but wind up in the hospital anyway. Cuphead brings Mugman to Sugar Land, and the duo becomes candy drunk before turning into sweets themselves and being chased by a candy monster. Mugman dreams about being a pirate named Mugbeard in a relationship with that scary mermaid lady he likes, then he beats up the Muffin Man. Then there's this gramophone-headed music teacher, but he's a flake, so he's gone pretty quick. Cuphead and Mugman go to a hay maze and face off with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The dynamic duo uses Chalice's ghostly powers to scam people, but they run into some real ghosts and the plan goes downhill fast. Then it's time to bake a cake for Elder Kettle. They battle a rat in their kitchen before Elder Kettle gives it the boot. Elder Kettle used to be an arsonist and he gets arrested for it. Cuphead and Mugman get arrested too, but not for arson. Mugman abandons Cuphead in the woods to teach him a lesson about responsibility, and Cuphead has a tough time. When the devil heads to Earth, the boys get a hold of his pitchfork, and we're pretty sure the devil takes Mugman to hell. And that's what you missed in season two.